So definitely, FR2 will be coming out for. No problem, no problem. We'll be coming back for another content. Okay, okay. We need to inform so many people, and we have to do so much research to yeah. put the right information out there. Okay. We have to counter the false information so that. Yeah, we have to do the, that. The, the, yeah. Our true story mm, will, will be out, out there. So yeah, that it's true. It's true. Everybody will get to correct mm, the false out there. Yeah, I'm happy we'll about it. Coming back for yes. a, a part two of the part. No problem. Part three. <laughs> there, there will definitely be a part three because uh, the information is endless. Yeah, we have to learn so much. So thank you, Alan. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. You're welcome. Hosting us for sharing such knowledge with us. No problem. You're welcome. Thank you, and let's watch us for the part two. All right. Mm. Hey, the baobab tree is big, oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so according to what we have just been told, this is where they keep the skull or the head. Bruce, which one? The head or the skull? The head. The head. The head. So this is where they keep the head. So I'll be taking where they keep the body. I'm, I'm really scared of the tree. This way they, this I'm so scared of the tree. This is where they will put the head. This is where they will put the head. Mm, so let them. This, ah, but this is this on which stone? This one. The one in the middle. The one in the middle. That's those are trees, or there was a stone there. No, no, no. no. I think they were the one to plant it, plant a tree there. There, ah, uh, so there was this a was, stone this there. This was a stone that they would use. They use ah, okay, the head, this stone. person's head on. This stone. This stone. Okay. The long stone. So that's where they cut the they head. They cut the head. Okay. Then after that they cut the head. So this is the baobab tree where they cut the head. So according to the history. The Malam who helped the queen um, uh, enchant the king and became pregnant for him and was lied upon and was killed in summary. This is just a summary. This is the tree. This is where they were brought. And this is where their head was cut on this stone. And their, their head was put in where you initially saw that hole. So I'll be taking you where you would be seeing where their bodies were dumped. So as you can see, these are the stones. It has been circled. And you can also see the stone there. Okay. Even though now it has been abolished, but they have, um, um, bros, how do we even call it? They are proofs. So these are also proofs. This proves that indeed something of such happened here. And yeah, so I want you to have a very close look at the stone. On this stone, so many heads rolled. <laughs> so yes, this is the stone where people were killed. And this is the baobab tree. With a close shot, I don't really feel like going closer because the tree scares me a lot. <laughs> It freaks the hell out of me. <laughs> this is the tree, the baobab tree. So this is part of the Dagbon history, the uh, Yendi history. If you hear Dagbon, it means Yendi. I'm really scared. <laughs> so this is it, where the skull, the heads were put after their heads were chopped from there. So let's go. So this where uh they said after they had cut that person's head then kept the head into the hole of the barber tree yeah. then this is the this way they will now come and bury that person but i, I thought they around, bury or they dump here uh, okay dump yes so but this time around they have, they have, they have covered, they this. covered it but okay. this only to indicate uh -huh. this is meant to indicate where it was mm -hmm. done okay <coughs> so they have covered it. here the entire place mm -hmm. and have just left the that done this mm -hmm. to indicate so upon it you can see the west northeast north east, north west west and, south. and south yes so you can see it on so this is an indication of where it was the bodies were dumped so ah, what a day <laughs> so much history i had no idea my hometown had such a history 
and now everything has changed thanks to modernization thanks to civilization a very beautiful apartment so whatever you can see they have been put up and bros you know what this ah, okay this is the district ges house the district director of ges this is his house in yendi to be specific yendi so we are currently in yendi and giving you a part two probably nana tattoo's history and what really happened where it happened how it happened and yes yeah, so this is what it looks now initially i want to believe there were trees just trees and blood and so on here so even the energy here is somewhat somehow some wavy <laughs> so yes yeah, so, well thank you guys today i did this with my own brother my own brother so yes i know some of you be like who is this this is my brother and he took me around we went out taking for the informations that you people got to hear or watched so let's say thank you to our brother <laughs> and yeah see you in my next content so thank you see you later bye